consumers are more aware of the availability of a parts and labor agreement. And one of the words I want you to learn to say earlier is, later rather, as we discussed previously, this is going to be one of the word tracks that you use many, many times in your presentation. I want to remind the customer that we've already talked about this issue. You know, Mr. Customer, as we discussed previously, you like, you like that? Patrick, was that, that, that work? As we discussed previously? You see, these are like universal word tracks. These are building blocks you just put into the conversation. The other one is, as you know. As you know, the manufacturer, or, or as you know, the lender has authorized me to provide this with your approval. As you know. When you say, as you know to somebody, it, it implies everybody knows this. It's common knowledge. And if you admit you don't know it, you will appear to be a dumbass. <laughs> as you know, I know it, what is it? <laughs> you know, as you know, one of the strongest word tracks when you're, sell when you're selling, and selling is not a bad thing. Remember I said I'm never going to lie, cheat, sneak, deceive, or misrepresent to sell, sell anything. You know, I want, I want the customer to win. But a lot of people don't win in spite of themselves. They don't see the big picture. They don't let you explain the big picture. Okay, don't use the exclusionary pitch. When you are selling a parts and labor agreement, and when I, when I was with, with working with Ford ESP, and I was doing the, the, all the training videos nationwide, I was traveling around the country doing F&I seminars for Ford. I was the official F&I school of Ford at the time. And we're talking the early 90s, late 80s. And one thing I, I criticized Ford about is their brochure was an exclusionary brochure. And many of you have fallen into the exclusionary presentation. Let me tell you what it doesn't cover. It covers everything but these few items. It doesn't turn anybody on. That is a piss poor presentation. <coughs> it covers everything but these few items. It doesn't cover the rubber hoses, the belts, the battery, the tires. You know, that doesn't press. Mr. Customer, this, this parts and labor agreement covers all internally lubricated parts of the engine. The pistons, the bearings, the timing chain, the water pump, everything. For six years, 100,000 miles, complete coverage. It covers all internally parts, you know, get into the assemblies, and you have to read them every little stinking part it covers. Some of these service contracts cover 1,500 assemblies, but still and all, get into, it covers big stuff. When I was teaching Dale Carnegie back in the 70s, one of, the, one of the themes of the Dale Carnegie sales class is sell bigness. Don't sell smallness. Am I making good sense? A service contract is a great value. It covers this, 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 and this. Not, not it doesn't cover these few things. Everything but these few things. No, that, that's a terrible presentation. You know, if you're just trying to save time, but you're not exciting the consumer. And Mr. Customer, you ever have a water pump go bad on one of your cars? Cool. Did, did you really? Yes. And a time change. You, you, you personally, personally Wayne, yes. you, you had a water pump go bad. I'll ask a consumer, you ever had a water pump go bad? I, I bet that was terrible. I mean, your car was sitting in the middle of the street shooting steam out everywhere. You had to have it towed. Couldn't drive it another five feet. Well, you, do you know an alternator or, alternator or water pump today? A water pump, how much? $700. $700. That would ruin your day, wouldn't it? And alternators. You know, think about all the things that go wrong in the older cars. You know. So get away from the exclusionary brochure concept. The service contract is the first sale. Is the service contract truly a three-year, 36,000 factory warranty? Is it truly, what do we have on our Chevrolets today, Brad? Three-year 36. Three-year 36. 
Is it truly a three year, 36,000 mile warranty? Based on how someone drives, it could be a two and a half year. It could be 18 months. Okay, now, my wife, my, my smoking hot trophy wife, Debbie here, <laughs> she, she drives a 2012 Cadillac SRX with less than 5,000 miles on it. I need that car. How's that? I need that car. You need that car. <laughs> yeah, it's brand new. I mean, <laughs> but so, She's not the norm. The norm is most people are going to overdrive the miles. The norm is it's going to be a two-year warranty at best. Especially where we are here, Tampa, St. Pete. People drive a long way to go anywhere around here. So, Mr. Customer, it's not a three-year warranty. It's a, it's a two-year warranty in effect. Now, do we have a, how, how much is the powertrain on yours? 560. 560. And what do you sell to, around the 560? Just a 560 wrap. There you go, a wrap. We sell a wrap, what's that, Kanye West? A wrap. <laughs> I'm gonna sell you a wrap. That's car jargon. It's not a wrap. Mr. Customer, we have a program that completes your warranty most nearly mirroring original factory coverage. It's not a wrap. It's a program that completes your warranty almost nearly mirroring original factory coverage. Now these word tracks are useless unless you memorize them, learn them. Learn to make them your own. What do you think so far, Al? Pretty good. You got some good stuff? Yeah, different. It, it, oh, yeah, it is different. What do you Because this is all original Ziegler. This, you know, I've been to three major F&I schools, but this is not any of their stuff. You know, when I was with Dyer and Dyer Volvo, Dyer and Dyer Volvo in the 80s, I, I was with them for two years. We went from 40 units a month to 850 units a month in a year and a half. Volvos. Not Chevrolets, not Toyotas, not Fords, Volvos. We were the 15th most profitable dealer in the country. First dealership in the country to do a million dollars in one month in F&I. I was not in charge. I was one of the managers. I, I don't take credit, I was one of the producers. I was not the F&I director, Steve Lair was. But we were Camelot. We grew that dealership so fast we had to buy the Greyhound bus station and remodel it as a car dealership. We couldn't do new construction as fast as we grew that dealership. My job in that dealership was to get hard to get bought deals bought. And this was before special finance. Yeah, my job was to structure deals and get the bank to see it our way. That's where the consumer credit counseling interview came in. And every month we would call anybody that didn't buy a service contract and try to resell them. I mean, every single month we would call everybody that didn't buy the service contract and, and do a resale pitch on them. And you know what we got a lot of? What is the most expensive repair on a vehicle today? Anybody? Electronics. Liquid quartz crystal computerized digital instrumentation display. <laughs> What'd you say? Giggle. Liquid quartz crystal <laughs> digitalized instrumentation display. You see, cars today, Mr. Customer, are not repairable. Patrick, you ever owned a laptop? Of course. More than one? Yeah. 
Where's the old one? Sitting in my closet, broken. Here. Yeah, I mean, cars today are modular. Plug in, plug out. They don't repair anything. They replace everything. Mr. Customer, the dash on your car, the computerization in the dash. That computerization, reading all your car's functions, telling you when there's a car on your blind spot. Your, 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 all of that is the most expensive repair in a car today. All the new technology things we're doing, the automatic braking, that is the most expensive repairs, and this covers all of that. You know, think about it. And when I get a customer to, to converse with me that way, the highest point in a car's repair curve is 42 months. Once again, that's NADA, JD Power, whoever you want to talk to, but that's an average of 42 months after the factory warranty has expired. Mr. Customer, the manufacturer has very little liability on a three-year 36. That second three years is the most expensive part of a car's lifetime. McPherson stretch suspension, breaker wear out. Wear out. Alternator, breaker wear out. Okay, you know, do you realize most manufacturer warranties do not cover wear and tear? Hmm. 